intoxicators picked us to win this game. They ain't give us a shot. Every time we put on this uniform, I'm proud to put it on with you, baby. Oh, baby, what a pass by Manning. Watch the Gulf Pirates, does it again. One-handed catch for a touchdown. We got opportunity, we got a finish. Intercepted by Corey Webster. Touchdown to Buddy Schumer. Kick on its way. Good. Lawrence oh, Tynes has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl. Brady back to throw. Gets hit sucked. Under pressure, Boyd Garage, and he now throws it deep downfield. Tyree makes the catch. This team won't win. And the Giants with the most improbable win have won Super Bowl 42. The road to Super Bowl 42 was no smooth thoroughfare for the New York Giants. It was a path pockmarked by rough patches, starting with their frustrating finish to the 2006 season. Manning back, sets, fires it left, deflected, and intercepted by Trent Cole into the end zone for a touchdown. It was disappointing. It was, uh, I was watching the soap opera just happen by the minute. You know, it was mentally so draining. It was most mentally challenge season I've ever had. You're disappointed in the defense at the end? Yeah, I'm disappointed in myself for not helping us win. Lost a few games, and then we got a snowball. You know, fingers were being pointed in the locker room. And, you know, when that happens, it's very hard to come back from those type of things. You know, people were saying all kinds of things about us and how bad we were, how I suck, how Eli's terrible, how they're going to fire Coach Coughlin. So it was a bad time. I mean, there were a lot of factors that went into the, the second half of the season and the, and the lack of success that we had there. But I, I always felt like we had a pretty good nucleus of players, and I was very confident that we had a very solid organization. It was from within the organization that the Giants selected the man who would have an immediate effect on the team's future success. I'm thrilled to be part of recognizing Jerry Reese as absolutely the appropriate person to be the general manager of the New York football Giants starting today for many, many years to come. There are some, some, some hot spots that, that our personnel staff and I will uh, we'll evaluate our team where we need to delete some guys or, or, or add some guys. The process is already underway. I like to put my eyes on the players. We're thinking about drafting. That's my only goal here, guys, is to help build this team to win championships. That's my goal. Every rookie reselected would make the roster and contribute during the season. Two more valuable additions were new coordinators, Kevin Gilbride and Steve Spagnola, both who would have significant impact in 2007. But the most profound change would come from the Giants head coach. After nearly four decades in his profession, Tom Coughlin had won many games but not always the hearts and minds of his athletes. His message had value, but the louder he spoke, the less his players heard. We dig a hole and can't get out of it. I'll be smarter than that. Come on, be smarter than that. Come on. Coughlin listened to his critics and vowed that 2007 would be different. Coming here, I was sort of a little nervous uh, about meeting Coach Coughlin, but when I got here, um, I walked in his office, and he first thing he did was smile. This year is so different than even last year that I can't imagine this is the same man. I don't know what happened, but this is just a totally different coach, one who I think who understands players a lot better, one who depends on his players. You know, he talks to us a lot more now. He, he's, he's relegated some of the power to the senior members of this football team. We have a unity council meeting. I have a few guys, about 10, 12 guys, who we talk to every week. He kind of you know, explains to us what he's thinking, what he wants to occur. One thing he says for every game, have fun. It's that impressive. Yeah, you know, this wasn't great. We need to work on it. But remember, just have fun. Grant, I want to see the other gear now again. I used to see the other gear. Used to. When you were young. We still have to, you know, wear our suit and tie. We still have to show up five minutes early for everything. He's still very strict on his rules. Let's go organize now. Let's get organized and let's do it right. Let's go. We got one practice. We need energy and focus. We need people who know what the hell they're doing now. Because I was waiting in training camp and the spring ball for some kind of change to happen. Okay. 
When is he, when is the old coffee gonna come back? When is this guy, you know, it's gonna stop smiling and stuff like that? When is he gonna start doing what is normal stuff? But he did. He just kept growing into a better and better person. The only bad thing would have been if you ran over the coach. That would have been a bad thing. And to see him change, it's, saying, it's hard to make a change after 60 some years living in this world. To change for the better for your team. And he, once he did it, I was happy for him. Win the battle for the ball. Good job. That's better. That's better. That's a good job. Let's go. Let's go. We're going. We're going. Let's go. The Giants began the championship chase in Dallas, eager to gain early momentum over their most bitter division rival. Giants, baby. New York Giants. Feels great to be a Giant today. No cross nosicators picked us to win this game. They didn't give us a shot. It took only three plays for the Giants to make an opening statement. Manning back, deep drop, looking deep down the middle. He's got flexible burst, wide open, makes the catch at the 20, 15, 10, 5, and he's in for the touchdown! 60 yards, and the Giants strike first on their opening drive of the season. I gave him a move, he ain't take it. Watch me now. If he, had, if he had bumped me straight up, I was gonna take the goal with him. Good, push that up. You'll yeah. kill him. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, stay on the gas, I'll stay on the gas. Sunday night football, you ain't got no choice. Yes, sir. About 700 people in my hometown. 650 of them watching this game. What they saw was an old fashioned Texas shootout. Over the middle line. At the 25, he broke the tackle. Left to the 10. T O T D. It was the highest scoring game in the rivalry's history as the Giants matched the Cowboys point for point. It's a touchdown pass on a shovel to Derek Ward, and the Giants won't quite go away. And Manning back. Looks right, throws in the end zone, caught by Burris, touchdown Giants! His third touchdown catch to the ball game. The late score cut the Dallas lead to three, but New York's defense collapsed in the final moments. Blitz is on, he throws it right in, it's caught, complete, and running to the end zone is Sam Hurd, touchdown Cowboys! It's just not acceptable, no matter how you break it down, 45 points given up, The situation worsened at the Giants' home opener, although at the outset, future Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre couldn't generate much yardage against New York's defenders. Sets, slings it over the middle, and it's deflected and intercepted by the Giants off the deflection. And it's Jabril Wilson who got the pick. But in the second half, Fire fired a flurry of touchdown passes that transformed a once competitive game into a Green Bay blowout. And the Packers have put up an impressive 28 points here in the second half. And they lead the Giants now 35-13. This defense in two games has given up a total of 80 points. I think we're a better football team than we've shown. Obviously, I don't have any, any real grounds for, uh, for saying that. It's just a belief. I do believe we're all in it together, and I do believe that we're all embarrassed. At Washington, the Giants' season teetered on the brink of collapse. By halftime, they trailed by two touchdowns, but then staged a rally, sparked by a pair of scoring runs from Ruben Groves. Late in the fourth quarter, Plaxico Burris gave New York its first lead of the day. Burris makes his man miss, cuts right to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Plaxico Burris! With under a minute to play and trailing by seven, the Redskins had first and goal on the one-yard line. It was time for New York's embattled defense to make a stand, and it did. Fourth and goal at the one. This is it. 
Campbell takes the snap. Hand off left for Fats, and he's tripped up and stopped short. Giants got them on fourth and goal, and they're going to win the ball game. Very big win for this team. We needed it, man, and, and thank God we played like we needed it and wanted it. When you win a close game like this, especially in the situation that we've been in the last few weeks, I think it brings you closer together as a team. It gives you confidence, which is what we needed the most at this point in the season. So this was a great defensive performance for us, but hopefully something to build on, not to sit back and get too happy about, because next week we have an opponent, I think, that put up 50-something points today. Donovan McNabb and the Red Hot Eagles were about to become unwitting victims to history. Hi, Coach Coughlin. How you doing tonight? See you. How nice you doing? to see you again. Good. Anything else you want to go over other than what you no, talked to the guys? the guys? All right. Anything comes up during the game, give me a holler. We'll take care of it Good. as soon as I can. The only thing I didn't mention is take care of the quarterback, guys, even if it's on both sides. Ready, Donovan? First down. The opening whistle heralded an unending assault by the Giants' unstoppable pass rush. Watching Donovan McNabb, he looks defeated. He and his linemen just look, they look perplexed. The Giants cashed in on the confusion with a heads-up play by linebacker Kavika Mitchell. McNabb fumbles the snap. He was trying to run a draw, and it's recovered by Kavika Mitchell. Mitchell gets up. He's running with it to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! And no Eagles-Giants game is ever complete without a big play from Platts. Slings one left for Paris, who makes the catch over two defenders for a touchdown. What a play. What, what a, a play. catch by Flexico Paris. But the star of the show was number 72, O.C. Humanyora, who put on a defensive performance that ranks among the greatest in franchise history. Pressure from Humanura running again, and he's sacked by O.C. McNabb flushed out to his right, gets dragged down by O.C. Humanura. Got sacked by Humanura! Team record by Humanura. Sack number six for O.C. and the 12th of the ball game for the Giants. Guess who? O.C. Humanura. That's him. There's that man again. And I guess O.C.'s on his way to NFL Defensive Player of the Week. The two New York rivals faced off for the first time in four years. And early on, Big Blue found itself in a big hole. Hank lobs one right, looking for Smith, who makes the catch for the touchdown. At the half, Jets 17, Giants 7. And the Giants hear the Boo Bird. Boos soon turned to cheers as the Giants roared back, sparked by the running tandem of Brandon Jacobs and Derek Ward. Off Ward, he's got the first down, powers his way to the five to the goal line, touchdown, Derek Ward! Despite an ankle injury that would plague him all season, Plexico Burris contributed to the comeback with a game-breaking second half. Manning back, looks left, throws, he's got Burris in space, stiff arms, Dyson, down the left side, up to the 30, to the 20, to the 15, he high steps in for the touchdown! Eli Manning threw another touchdown pass to tight end Jeremy Shockey. Then top draft choice Aaron Ross locked up Big Apple bragging rights. Pennington has time, throws it, and it's intercepted by the Giants. Running down the left sideline, rookie Aaron Ross, he'll walk in for the touchdown. His second interception of the ball game. Oh, the rookie from Texas, the first round draft pick, playing big for the Giants today. What a play. Down in Dixie, the Giants made their first Monday night appearance of the season and were clearly in prime time for The defense was dominating and New York's quarterback warmed to Atlanta's southern hospitality. Oh baby, what a pass by Manning. 43 yards and made it look easy. It was also easy for the ground attack, 
thanks to lane clearing blocks from fullback Madison Hedgecock. Ruben Drone's longest run of the season and a late score from Derek Ward, Southern Pride, the Falcons, securing New York's fourth straight win. The Meadowlands party started early and lasted all day against San Francisco. The Giants struck first as Amani Toomer passed Kyle Rote to become the team's all-time leader in career touchdown reception. Jeremy Shockey also collected a touchdown, but this day belonged to the defense. With four takeaways, it quickly turned the game into a rock. Dilford takes the snap, drops back, slings one right, and it's intercepted by Sam Madison at the 35. Great play by Madison. New York added six sacks to their league-leading total. None more impressive than the one rung up by OCU Minura. Dilfer back to throw, sacked by Uminura. Ball is loose, picked up by Osi. He's running with it. He's got roadblocks to midfield. No one's going to catch Uminura. He's got speed. Touchdown, OCU Minura. He gets the hat trick, the sack, the forced fumble, and the touchdown 75 yards. Now, Osi and his teammates were about to take an even longer journey across the Atlantic for a history-making game. The New York Giants touched down at London's Heathrow Airport at 5.30 a.m. local time, which to them felt like 12.30 in the morning. Meanwhile, some two hours later, the Dolphins arrived at Gatwick Airport an hour east of Heathrow. Following brief stints at their team hotels, both clubs hit the practice field. The Giants working out at the Chelsea Training Complex, home to the Premier League's Chelsea Football Club. But football takes on dual meanings this week in the UK. No, I think we understand what, what's, what's happening here. And uh, you know, we're, we're, I think it's an honor for the Giants and for us to be uh, chosen as the, uh, the first team to play in a regular season game out of North America. And, and we're excited about being here. While strolling London's busy streets, the quest for tasty cuisine and British pro football fans became an obsession for veteran cornerback Sam Madison. Listen, man, I'm telling you, bring your own salt and pepper when you come. But none of the food is a little bland. Y'all have tickets? We wouldn't want tickets. No one. No, I've seen. Not y'all, not y'all game? Give me American wrestling. Uh, American wrestling? So you do you know who's playing tomorrow? No. <laughs> you know how much money we've been spending marketing this game and you don't know who's playing? I can't really follow football to be honest with you. What's up, mate? You from here? Yeah, I'm from England. Yeah. Oh, you from England? What you doing in San Francisco? I lived in San Francisco. Oh, how was it? Yeah, so you like it? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Well, you know, we just whooped them last week. You know that, right? A similar fate was in store for the Miami Dolphins. Hey, another Sunday, another time to do what we do. Now this time we had to travel a little bit further. We had to do all that. We got to get right. What do we come out right here? now, that ain't no reason for us not to come out here and perform the way we supposed to perform. We are accountable to each other. Early on, Miami failed to account for Eli Manning. Run it easy, run it easy. On a night when points were at a premium, Eli's run gave the Giants a lead they would never relinquish. Touchdown, Eli Manning! A rushing touchdown for Eli! More than 80,000 British fans braved miserable weather conditions. It must have seemed even more foul to Miami. So dominant was the Giants' defense that it was the Dolphins who were a fish out of water. As the rain continued, the footing on British soil became even more treacherous. What? It's been... That's a fumble. It looked like the Marx Brothers came to Wembley Stadium. Man, it's nasty out here, man. 
Uh, it's nasty out here. But not as nasty as Sam Madison was to Dolphin receivers. Wants to throw a flip it at the egg and toward to the end zone. And he dropped it. Madison went up and took that ball away from Hagen, who's six foot two, to Madison's 5'11. That's the wily, veteran, wise Sam Madison. Congratulations, first international win. First international win. After a week off, the Giants eagerly returned to action in a rematch with the Cowboys. Let's get fired up, jump on these guys. They don't know how to play from behind. One, two, three, go, 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 go. From the start, the Giants played shock ball. Manning back, steps up, fires down, field, Shockey's got it! He's been the guy in the first half. Jeremy Shockey was on his way to a 12-catch performance as the Giants battled to a 17-17 halftime score. Has time, throws it toward the end zone, touchdown, Giants. Step right inside of Williams, touchdown, Giants. Jeremy Saki beats Roy Williams as he's done his whole career. It's a mismatch every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he can't cover yeah, you. Yeah, okay. he, right. hey, right. he cannot yeah. cover you. Unfortunately, the Giants couldn't cover Terrell Owens either. Got a man, Owens at the 20, Owens to the 10, touchdown, his second today. Giants stadium stunned. The loss all but ended any realistic chance for New York to win the Eastern Division title. The Giants hope to rebound on the road in the Motor City. We are the New York Giants. We are from New York. We travel around the country. We travel around the world. And we whip ass. That's what we do. We are the New York Giants. New York Giants on three. Let's go get it. One, two, three. New York Giants. Come down to Bradshaw, he'll run it a yard out. Bradshaw wings his way to the 15, to the 30, has a head of speed to the 30, 35, cut back lane to the 40, still on his feet to the 45. Bradshaw runs out of a tackle at midfield, cuts right to the Lion 40, 67 yard kickoff return Lion by Lion Ahmad Lion. Bradshaw, the rookie, seventh round draft pick. Bradshaw supplied the flash. Brandon Jacobs would provide the power. Hey, that's a big dude right there, man. I don't know how they're hitting that big dude, man. That's why I play receiver. Manning back to throw. Looks, checks down left. Jacobs has it. Runs over a tackle. Dives to the goal line. Touchdown, yeah. Brandon Jacobs. The Giants jumped to a 10 to nothing lead, then turned to their defense to make it stand. In the fourth quarter, New York's secondary permanently shut down Detroit. Bill Williams had it deflected and intercepted by the Giants. Interception by Jabril Wilson. Throws a deep left down the side, and it is intercepted by James Butler at the goal line. Kitten with a hard count now gets the football. Sets and throws. Got an incomplete. No! Picked off. No! Yeah! Off of Sean McDonald's hands and picked off by Sam Madison. The Lions came into this game 
averaging 31 points a game at home. The Giants will hold them to 10 today. The win was a costly one for New York. Brandon Jacobs seriously injured his hamstring, and linebacker Matthias Kiwanuka was lost for the season with a broken leg. The Giants hoped Meadowlands home fires would help provide a spark against the visiting Vikings. What occurred instead was New York's worst performance of the season. Minnesota cashed in on its second play from scrimmage. Then the Viking defense proceeded to pick the Giants' pockets. Takes the snap, slides one left, and it's intercepted by Darren Sharper. Sharper running left, he'll walk in for the touchdown. From there, Eli Manning's afternoon only got worse. And Manning throws over the middle and gets picked off again. Chad Greenway's got it. And Manning throws his third pick six of the game. This is as embarrassing of a loss for a team this talented as I've seen in a while. Not long ago, New Yorkers were singing Eli's coming. The question now was, where were he and the Giants going? Eli hoped a Chicago downpour would wash away the bad memories of the Viking loss. But through much of the Bears game, Manning's misfortunes continued. Throws up for Burris, jump ball, intercepted! Manning gets picked again. After falling behind 16-7, the Giants' defense tightened. New York stormed the Bears' backfield for six quarterback sacks, holding Chicago in check until Manning and the offense suddenly came to life late in the fourth quarter. Eli found Amani Toomer for one score then directed a 77-yard drive in the final moments to complete an improbable comeback. Good job by Eli Manning. Patiently saw his receiver and got it to him without a panic. As good an effort from this offense as they've shown all day. Handoff throw is going to bounce to the outside and walk in for the touchdown. This team showing some guts, showing that they really want to win this game. I think it means an awful lot to our team, to Eli, to come into a situation like that and win. And, uh, and uh, I think the way in which we won and uh, the significant uh, way in which he played down the stretch, uh, you know, makes a strong statement about him and his ability. It wasn't the prettiest. Uh, at, at times it was, it was, you know, flat out ugly. Um, but it was sweet. It was sweet at the end, the way we did it. We fought back. And, and to win it in somebody else's backyard, that was big for us because that's what we're going to have to do if we want to be successful this season. Even after his impressive resurrection in Chicago, Eli Manning was getting no respect in Philadelphia. How many picks today, Eli? Six picks! Manning sucks! Manning sucks! Manning sucks. Manning sucks. Manning sucks. Eli responded to the Philly faithful's kind words by leading two first-half scoring drives, powered by the long stride of Plaxico Burris and the churning gallop of Ruben Drone. It's Jones! Throws up the right side to the 15, 10, 5, down to the 2, and the Eagles report flat-footed. Hey, good boys. Let's go. The Eagles offense did not fare as well. McNabb is grabbed and brought down from behind by Barry Cofield. Cofield gets his first sack of the season. Seal the deal. Barry Cofield broke the curse. He finally got a sack. Sack Barry. He finally got a sack. Hey, Barry. But the Giants were now also taking their loss. Manning steps up, tripped up, they got him! Stop the run before this coach I wish I was Peyton! I wish I was Peyton! The Eagles defense soon wished it was playing someone else as Eli eluded their grasp to find Philly killer Plexico Burris again and again. Back to throw, slants it left for Burris at the five. 
drive to the goal line. Touchdown, flexing the burst. Giants 16, Eagles 13. No timeouts left. Put the heat down. That's where you get paid the big bucks now. You got it? So with 53 seconds to go, the Giant defense is called upon one more time. All they really need is a field goal to send it to overtime. Yes. He's back. He steps up. He looks. He fires. Leaping reception at the 30. 38 seconds to go. McNabb will call the play at the line. Under pressure, throws one left. He's got Lewis. Now what do you do? Does Akers kick it? Hurry up. 12 seconds. Boy, does this have to be fast. A 57-yarder. Down, down. To tie the longest of his career. The kick is away. The kick is long enough. It hit the right upright. He had the distance, and it hit the right upright. The New York Giants come from behind and beat the Eagles 16-13. Hello, brotherly love, come to this. Like they said, we are the most unimpressive 8-14 <laughs> they've ever seen. Well, I guess we'll take this to our ride back to East Rutherford, and we'll be the most unimpressive 9-14 they've seen. But... New York was plowing toward the playoffs, but was buried under a heap of bad fortune against Washington when Jeremy Shockey suffered a season-ending injury. His replacement was the only giant to reach the end zone. Touchdown, Kevin Boss, the rookie tight end, filling in for Shockey. The Redskins dominated all afternoon and handed the Giants a stunning third consecutive loss at home. New York still needed one more win to clinch a wild card berth. Appearances to the contrary, the Buffalo Bills were not in a gift-giving mood and proved it by taking a 14 to nothing first quarter lead. But once the weather changed, so did Giants' fortunes, thanks to Brandon Jacobs. Manning, handoff right for Jacobs. Here Finds a crease, 35-30, to the right sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Brandon Jacobs! The longest run of his career. A fourth quarter takeaway put the Giants ahead to stay. Edwards back to throw. Zips one left. Deflected and intercepted by the Giants. Picked off running down the right side like Kavika Mitchell. And he takes it in for the touchdown. On a day when New York's passing game struggled, the Giants rushed for a season high 289 yards. They run your fifth down off. Bro, stay through the ball yet. Come on, JD. We got to stop the run. The Bills never did. And Ahmad Bradshaw made them pay with the third longest run in Giants history. Bradshaw up the middle. 25 30. It's a foot race. Bradshaw to the 40. To midfield. No one's going to get the rookie out of Marshall. 30. Any doubts about that were erased by a game-icing interception from Corey Webster. The Giants had locked up a playoff spot, but could neither help nor harm themselves in their final game. Yet that game would be against the Patriots team looking to make history with a 16-0 regular season record. New York's coaches faced a difficult decision. To rest or not to rest, that is the quandary facing Tom Coughlin's Giants. With nothing to be gained in the playoff standings, do they sit their starters, some of them banged up, or do they go for the big win against the Patriots and the momentum that that would provide going into the playoffs? The, the 45 guys that dress will play as hard as we can and try to win a game. And that's what we do every week. I don't see it as any different. We're all aware of the circumstance. We've won 10 games. We're in the playoffs. We're all aware of that. We know who our first opponent is. That doesn't necessarily affect us. Momentum is more important than, than, than rest at this point. Because if you have momentum, you know, rest doesn't do you any, any good. If you follow our history, we're not the best team after the bye week. So the best thing to do is just keep going on, uh, you know, as, as, as planned and as scheduled and you know, trying to, 
you know, compete the best we can. The Giants would go all out to win, a decision that would heavily impact their 2007 postseason. I'll tell you right now, baby, you got everybody watching. They ain't here for us. Now, hey, I'll be honest, two things that bother me. One, most think we just put, come out here and lay down and let Hattie's. And two, yeah, right, oh, the Giants are in the playoffs. They ain't got nothing to play for. Rest their guys so they don't get hurt. They're going to play off too. On their second play from scrimmage, the Giants made an emphatic first impression. Look at deep post, wide open down the middle of the field, the flex in the first, who makes a leap and catch and is knocked down at the 18 yard line. Giants stadium erupts. The Giants appeared to relish the role of David trying to knock down Goliath. Climbing his way up a tackle, emphatic running by Brandon Jacobs, dives to the goal line, touchdown! And the Giants strike first. This crowd wins this night. Then the league's best pass rush set its sights on Tom Brady. In the first half, New England settled mostly for field goals. New York's special teams achieved far more spectacular results. It'll come down to Hickson at the Giants 25 to the 30, 35, 40, has a seam at midfield, breaks left, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Dominic Hickson! Giants 14, Patriots 10. With less than two minutes until halftime, Eli Manning crafted a length of the field drive that quieted even his most persistent critics. Manning looks sharp tonight. Good decision making by the quarterback in this game. They gave him a running lane there and he took it. Back to throw, looks right, pumps, looks, dumps it into the end zone, touchdown Kevin Vaughn! So the Giants have gone toe to toe with New England. Eight plays, 85 yards, in one minute and 41 seconds. We got a game here. Yes, we do. They have come to play. In the second half, the Giants opened up a 28-16 lead. Manning back to throw. They roll the pocket to the right. Manning pumps, throws one right into the end zone. Caught by Burris on the sideline. Did he hold it? Touchdown! What a throw by Manning as Eli fires his third touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Patriots' perfect season is very much in jeopardy. The Giants had clearly earned the Patriots' respect, along with that of a nationwide television audience. New York had played its heart out in a game that meant nothing and everything. In the end, the Patriots' firepower prevailed. New England rallied to successfully conclude its perfect regular season. But this was a defeat the Giants could build upon. The confidence gained from their performance would serve them well in the weeks ahead. You say a lot about this effort from the Giants, and it just tells you just how good the Patriots are because the Giants stared them right in the eyes. Well, if they play like they played tonight, the New York Giants can make some hay in the NFC playoffs. The Giants would have to win three consecutive road games to reach the Super Bowl. Their journey began in tropical Tampa against the champions of the NFC South. 80 degrees in January. Don't feel like home for the advantage of me. Despite comfortable weather, the Giants felt the heat in the game's early moments. Ready, 
At the end of the first quarter, New York had a grand total of minus two yards and trailed by a touchdown. Listen, anytime we have a tight end block like that, because we'll, we'll come back to toss it in and I crack out. You guys got to get some depth. The offense regrouped, and Manning took control. This was not the Eli of old. Manning back to throw, looks right, throws it for Jacobs, makes the catch of the five, into the end zone for the touchdown. We're all tied at 7-7. It's all in rhythm, you know what I'm saying? Downhill, you can do what you do best. On their next possession, Eli engineered another scoring drive to help the Giants claim their first lead. Hand off left for Jacobs. Runs left inside the box to the goal line. Touchdown, Brandon Jacobs. And after an awful start, the Giants have the lead here in the second. Come on, let's go. Bring it up. Or to the outside shoulder because he still wants to step up. You have to control Garcia. Got it? New York only sacked Tampa's quarterback once, but Jeff Garcia was in jeopardy on nearly every play. That's how we do it. Hit him once, you come right back and hit his ass again. Get out there, Corey! Get off, Corey! In a sign of things to come, new playoff heroes were emerging from everywhere on the roster. Intercepted by Corey Webster. It was just a poorly thrown ball, and it was an easily intercepted ball. We're almost into the fourth quarter. We're almost into the fourth quarter. Popping them off, popping them off. Ahmad Bradshaw then led the way on a clock draining 15 play, eight and a half minute drive that buried the Buccaneers. Manning in the gun. Tumor in motion from the right. Manning back to throw. Pops look, fires right to Tumor in the end zone. Cuts down Giants. Lamonte Tumor is having a whale of a game. He made it 24 7. And I hear the air coming out of this stadium. Manning, 20 of 27, a buck 85, two touchdowns. Never put the ball in harm's way. Giant fans are starting to cheer. The Giants' road victory tour would roll on from Tampa to Texas. Bring on Dallas! We're going to take Dallas down! Off to Dallas! Off to Dallas! Get your popcorn ready. These fans are ready. It is all white at Texas Stadium. The Cowboys ask their fans to declare a whiteout today. Win or lose, Big Blue season a success. Dallas Cowboys can't make that statement. Sorry, how bad do we want it? How bad do we want it today? Every time we put on this uniform, I'm proud to put it on with you, baby. Let's go, New York Giants on three. One, two, three. New York Giants. After being swept by Dallas during the regular season, it was payback time. And the Giants exploded on their first series. Swings one left, wide open, Tumor at the Cowboys 40. Sheds a tackle, down the left sideline, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Amani Tumor! 52 yards! They have the Cowboys on their heel. Lame effort by Anthony Henry and Chris Canty, and then Roy Williams just fell, but he's going to the Pro Bowl. Giants 7. Cowboys nothing. We gotta do what we're supposed to do. Hey, we gotta be in the right gap. Rise up, D, rise up, D, come on! Why is this? The top seeded Cowboys answered back with two scoring drives, each extending 90 plus yards. The marathon marches put Dallas ahead by a touchdown in the waning moments of the second quarter. Give it a barber, bang, touchdown, bam, bam. They go 90 yards on this drive for the touchdown. We got opportunity, you gotta finish. You gotta finish, everybody. The Giants finished with a flourish. With just 53 seconds until halftime, Manning put on a passing clinic. Oh. Eli carved up the Cowboys, and America's team was not pleased. Oh. 
the middle for Tumor, makes the catch, touchdown to Monty Tumor! In the second half, the Giants held the NFC's top scoring team to a field goal. Gets hit, gets sacked back at the 38 yard line. <laughs> Romo was running for his life. Then the special teams ignited New York's final scoring drive. Breaks a tackle at the 40 and breaks another one at the 45, and here he comes. The quarters shoved out finally. Field position again. Yep. And off Jacobs. He runs right, plows to the goal line, touchdown Giants. Giants 21, Cowboys 17. There ain't no time to be tired. We hit that quarterback every single time, though. We got to get the home run. Knock him down, get the sack. With time running out, the Cowboys pulled out all the stops in a last-ditch effort to push across the winning touchdown. So it's wow. down to one play. A season is down to one play. They got a goal in the end zone! End zone! Here we go, fourth and 11 at the Giants' 23. 16 seconds to go. Giants leading by four. Romo takes the snap. Back to throw. Has time to the end zone. Intercepted by the Giants. And the Giants bench goes wild. And the very first turnover of the game, an interception by R.W. McQuarters with nine seconds left, is going to end the Dallas Cowboys season. This is a disappointment of absolutely colossal proportion. And the Giants, they have earned a trip to the NFC Championship game in Green Bay at historic Lambeau Field. After losing to the Cowboys twice this season, they maintained all year long they wanted another crack at it, and they got it. That's a great win. That's a great Speech. win. Nobody gave us a chance. We came here. We knew we had to do it. Let's have a team. One, two, three. Team. Team. Welcome to Lambeau Field in Green Bay for the NFC Championship game between the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers. The winner tonight gets the undefeated New England Patriots in Glendale, Arizona in Super Bowl 42. No better spot than Lambeau Field for an NFC Championship game. Something you dream about every day. All the people that stand in the way of this dream, them over there. All you hear about is the past, the past, the pack of this, the pack of that, Red Farm this, Red Farm that, the past is the past. This is the past. The Packers here at home have won 10 of their last 11. The G-Men, they've won nine consecutive road games. It was the third coldest game in NFL history, but New York's road warriors seemed right in their own element. Let's see what the Giants come with tonight. tell you something, playing the New York football Giants in these playoffs is like going to the dentist and getting teeth pulled without Novocaine. The Giants are playing physical cold weather football. I don't think the Giants are afraid of us. Let's go, D! Right, let's go, let's go! Mexico Burris and Eli Manning picked up the pace by picking on Packers All-Pro corner Al Harris, number 31. Al Harris, he must be cold because he's been undressed by Plaxico Burris. Plaxico Burris is just doing a number on Al Harris. The Giants' first two drives both ended with field goals from Lawrence Tyne. Snap is good. Kick on its way. It's got the distance. It is good. 6 nothing Giants. The defense focused on stopping Green Bay's star runner, Ryan Grant, who'd gained 207 total yards the week before. Against the Giants, Grant had 26. Run, 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 run. The 
Giants were ready for whatever the Packers threw at them. Boy, this has been a well-prepared New York Giants defense. Finish our blocks, man. Finish our blocks. You guys, this close. This is close. An offense that uh, generated so much a week ago has uh, been kept out in the cold this week. The Packers appear to be a team just looking for a spark here in this NFC Championship game. They're down 6 nothing. Boy, do they need to play here. Farm under center, fakes the pass. Now, back to throw deep. He rainbows. He's got it. Right He's got his man down the right sideline to the 45-50. He's to the 40, the 35, 30, down the sideline. Touchdown again. Barb and friends later extended the Packer lead to 10 to 6. But in the third quarter, New York warmed up the frozen tundra with a drive that burned up over seven minutes. They keep fighting back. Manning, handoff left for Jacobs. Plows into the end zone for a touchdown. Giants regain the lead. 13-10. New York's lead lasted only four minutes. Back to throw, wipes it over the middle of the end zone. Touchdown, Devin Lee! Their second touchdown of the game and lead the Giants 17 to 13 with five minutes to go in the third. Let's get the stupid ass look off our damn face. It's over with. Let's just move on. It's over with. Let's go. The crowd was in a frenzy. The mercury was dropping by the minute. But the Giants soldiered on, powered by Eli's accurate throws and the punishing runs of Ahmad Bradshaw. Bradshaw cuts up the middle to the goal line. No signal yet. Is he in? Touchdown, Giants. Ahmad Bradshaw blasts his touchdown. Giants regain the lead here in the third with 2.12 to go. The defense kept pulverizing the Packers, who were held to only a field goal in the fourth quarter. Tied at 20. The Giants and Burris went after Al Harris again. But when Green Bay held, New York turned to its kicker for help. So it's fourth down, and now they bring Lawrence Tynes on for a field goal to try to give the Giants the lead. A 43-yard field goal attempt. Here's the snap placement made. Kick end over end of the end right, and it's no good. No good. The game still tied at 20. Let's go, one time. We get the ball back, one drive, field goal, we win this. After another defensive stop, Green Bay was forced to punt. The Giants are going to get great field position here, you would figure. McQuarters makes the catch of the Green Bay, 48, turns up field, 45 of the 40. Cutting to his left, breaks a tackle, ball! fumble the football. Fumble the football, it's up for grabs, and covered up by the Giants, it appears. It is giant ball. Oh my! Ain't time to go home yet, baby. Ain't time to go home yet, baby. Got one more drive. Come on, defense! Come on, defense! 2:15 left to go. Draw play for Bradshaw. Has a crease left. Bradshaw to the 40. Bradshaw to the 35. Still on his feet. A 48-yard score by Bradshaw was wiped out by a penalty. Holding, holding Giants. Even though the touchdown was called back, Manning drove the Giants into field goal range as the clock wound down. 37-yard field goal attempt now to win the game. Four seconds remaining. So it's all come down to this. The season, the ticket to the Super Bowl. Here's the snap, high snap, placement made, kick, line drive to the upright. Go. Go. He hooked it left, he hooked it left. Yeah. And 
Tynes shanked it. Tynes just whipped on it. Overtime! Overtime in the NFC Championship! Oh, what drama at Lambeau Field in Green Bay! Then another whim of fortune turned the Packers' way. Five appeared ready to lead another historic comeback. The Giants would not let that happen. Far back to pass, takes a deep drop, steps up, looking to his right, the pass intercepted by the Giants at the 40-yard line. Corey Webster got the pick. Webster's interception put the Packers on ice and gave Lawrence Tynes yet another chance to warm New York hearts. Believe it, we're going to win this damn game. Come on, man, come on. Finish. Here we go again. Comes Tynes. Comes Tynes again. Here we go again. All right, here goes Tynes again from 47 yards. In 16 playoff games at Lambeau Field, no one had ever made a field goal of over 40 yards. Snap is good. Kick on its way. And over it. Does it have the distance it is? Good! Lawrence Tides has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl! Giants are going to Super Bowl 42 in overtime. They beat the Packers 23-20. Hey, E, I got icicles in my nose. Hey, there you go. Thank Wait, you, brother. Get it, Thank you, man. Let's go get it. We ain't finished. Thank you, man. I love you. Thank you. Let's get you one. Thank you. Let's get you one. Get out. You got this Super Bowl, man. They had won a league record 10 straight road games against all odds in all kinds of weather. Now the Giants stood just one win away from a world championship. The New York Giants rode a magic carpet to Super Bowl 42. The ride was supposed to end there. They've played 18 and they've won 18 as the Patriots try to become the first team in National Football League history to go 19-0 as Super Bowl champions. We ain't supposed to be here, right? This old line we're facing today is the greatest old line of all time. The quarterback cannot be sacked, can't even be hit. We don't stand a chance. Hi, Tom. Congratulations. How, you doing? How was that frostbite? Oh, That was man. pretty cold, wasn't it? At least they were talking about my face this year. Last year was my ass. Yeah. <laughs> there is a quiet confidence about this team. The question is fear versus faith. And I believe that this giant team has faith in their hearts. They think they can win this game. Super Bowl 42 had the perfect setup. Either the Patriots were going to make history, or the Giants were going to make history by beating them. It's been a festive scene up to this point, and from here on it's going to be football. And Super Bowl 42 is underway. Out of the gun, he takes the snap, back to throw, zings it over the middle, completes it wide open to first. It's a New York Giant first down. Delivers one left, completes it for first down to the Patriot 47-yard line. 
Hand off left for Jake. Finds a crease through the hole. Shoulders of Patriot. Carry them. And he, he said, I'm not here just to run the ball. Watch this. Bang. He knocks him over. On the game's opening drive, the Giants move the ball and the Patriots with ease. Bradshaw runs right. He's got the first down inside the 35. Carrying Patriots inside the 30. And the kid Bradshaw showing feistiness before he's dragged down by Adelius Thomas. Bradshaw just refuses to go down. It was the most time-consuming opening drive in Super Bowl history. But it only yielded three points. Snap is good. Kick on its way. And it is good. Giants 16 plays, 63 yards. They use 9 minutes and 59 seconds of the first quarter. That's a long drive, huh? 10 minutes. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> now we'll see what happens on this side of the ball. The two teams had combined for 73 points in December. The rematch looked like it might be a repeat. Watch screen! Watch screen! Watch screen! Watch screen! Receiver screen to Falk. He's got another one. He's tripped up just inside the 20-yard line. Third and 10 for the Patriots at the Giants' 17. Brady takes the snap. Back to throw. Under pressure. Lops to the end zone. And it's incomplete with a flag on the play. The pass interference call gave New England the ball on the Giants' one. And on the first play of the second quarter, the Patriots took the lead. And off Maroney. He runs right to the goal line. Touchdown, Patriots. Yes. Close only gets you <laughs> scored upon against the New England Patriots. <laughs> pass interference and... You give them another opportunity to breathe, they take advantage of it. We got the jitterbug out our system. Let's go. All right, let's go. The Patriots have their score, but it would be a long time before the Giants' defense allowed another. Listen, it's going to be set to the back unless AP changes it. If Brady changes the protection, then we're going to be ready to change the play. Big Blue had New England's number. They knocked down Brady 23 times. They're making sure Brady feels their presence on all downfield balls. Brady took another hit. Relentless. Relentless run. Relentless run. We got some cobwebs out, baby. Let's roll on it. Let's go. Blitz is on under pressure. Avoids the sack and then gets dropped. What a play by Kavika Mitchell, Bob. He lined up over center, dropped back like he was going to go into pass coverage, and walks through as the Red Sea opens up on him. Why? Twice it! Brady back to throw. Steps up, sacked again! Justin Tuck got in there. Back-to-back -back sacks of Brady as the Giants dial up the pass rush. That's good. I mean, it worked out just like we won. There's more Giant fans here in the building. There's a chant of defense, and now the Giant fans stand and make a lot of noise. I'll tell you, this giant defense is really, really good. This quarterback's internal clock has been just discombobulated. Tom is holding on the ball a little longer than he normally has. Come on, Dave! Brady back, pass time, steps up, gets hit back, come up with the football, it's loose on the ground, they scramble for it. Who has it? Giant ball in the midfield. In 2007, the Patriots' offense averaged more than 400 yards per game. In the first half of Super Bowl 42, they gained 81. The third quarter brought more of the same. Brady out of the gun. Takes the snap and back to throw. Sets in the pocket, and he's sacked by Michael Strahan. Back at the 32-yard line. Fourth sack of the game of Brady. Woo! Old man Strahan having the ball out here. Old man Strahan ball. After three quarters, the stage was set. The perfect team was feeling perfectly awful. The whole line is just putting big time pressure. Well, Brady's got hit that many times in the whole game, let alone three quarters. Patriots seven, Giants three. Fifteen minutes left to play in the 2007 season. Give me them 
some hands. Hey, Jabril, give me them four fingers. Let's go. Hey, Ross, let's go. Give it to me. Give them to me. Give me them four fingers. I just like the contest. This contest is great. Yeah. I don't know how it's playing on TV as far as excitement, but this is good work in here. Whether you were in the arena or part of a record TV audience, Super Bowl 42 was thrilling. And the fourth quarter may have been the best ever. Over the middle, Boss makes the catch on the run, still on speed across the field, to the 40, to the 35, and knocked down at the 34-yard line. And Harrison then didn't make the tackle, they let Boss get another 20 yards. Yeah, and they don't forget they haven't thrown to him at all. Kevin Boss! 46 yards, the longest catch of his rookie season. Kevin Boss, Giants rookie class, baby. Kevin Boss, Steve Smith, and Ahmad Bradshaw, all rookies and all vital in setting up New York's first touchdown. The unusual suspects can become unsung heroes in this game. Come on, O. Come on, O. Tyree in motion, hand up, up, play fake, manning the throw to the end zone, touchdown! This quarterback, Eli Manning, this drive, he orchestrated like a captain. Giants 10, Patriots 7. If you're a Giant fan, you're believing. Believe it! Go! And so the 18-0 season continues to hang very much in the balance for the Patriots. Great game, you know? I mean, it's not a lot of points, but boy, this is nice, nice in the pits. We get the ball, we got to do something with it. This next drive coming up, it's going to get 7.54 to go in the game. Giants 10, Patriots 7. The Patriots uh, are going to have to show us the stuff of champions here. After struggling for three and a half quarters, the most prolific offense of all time finally found a rhythm. Snap to Brady. Looks. Fires. Touchdown! Brady Moss! Tom Brady rifles a six-yard touchdown pass to Randy Moss with 2.42 to go. And the Patriots regain the lead. Corey Webster slipped and fell. The Patriots have the lead with 2.42 to go. Anxiety right now. <laughs> a pulse pounding finish to Super Bowl 42. Isn't this the way you like it? Yes. <laughs> Isn't this just the way you like it? 17 14 is the final, okay? 17 14, fellas. One touchdown, we are world champions. Believe it, and it will happen. So you rely, here we go. This is what every quarterback lives for chance to win the game. Can Eli Manning do it? You've got to go 83 yards in 239. On several occasions, the Patriots could have made the play to guarantee a perfect season. Fourth, and the length of a football, 11 and a half inches. This is the ball game. Hand off Jacobs, runs right, dives ahead, he's got the first down. We got a first down, fellas, we got a first down, first down. In the biggest drive of his life, Eli Manning was part of the most miraculous play in Super Bowl history. Direct snap to Manning. Back to throw. The rush. Gonna be hit. Gonna be sacked. No, no, he got out of it. Now he fires downfield. Seconds to go. How did he get away from that? I have no idea. They had Look Manny by 
by the back of the shirt. I am still flabbergasted with what Eli Manning was able to do. What a catch by Tyree. Oh. Tyree had Harrison all over him. The ball was on his helmet, but he got his other hand on it and pulled it in. So now the Giants are in a position to win the game. There's no quitting this team. There's no dying this team. You've got a stomach for high drama and intrigue. This is it. Oh, the seats are empty because everybody's standing. And Eli Manning and the Giants end perfection. And don't forget, when we keep going back to Burris, he's been able to get behind these fellows. Let's see what can happen. Three receivers right, Burris left. 39 seconds to go. Manning calling signals, takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, first is wide open, touchdown Giants! 35 seconds to go, the Giants regain the lead, Manning to Burris! This quarterback and his receiver just made the biggest plays of their Giants career. During the season, David Tyree caught four passes, but his catch for the ages and the Burris touchdown with 35 seconds remaining had the Giants on the doorstep of a championship. And the Patriots' perfect season is only 35 seconds away from ending. Let's see if Tom Brady can do it one more time. It may be asking too much at this point in time. Brady back to throw. Gets hit and set. Back of the 15-yard line. Jay Alford got in there. Fifth sack of Brady. One more play for New England. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Only one take no field. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, the zero. Brady takes the snap. Back to pass, steps up, heaves one deep down the left sideline. And that is it! The New York Giants have knocked off the New England Patriots 17-14 as Tom Coughlin gets a Gatorade back. They get a final stand on the great Tom Brady and the Giants with the most improbable win have won Super Bowl 42. And let the celebration begin. Oh my God! Best day of my life, I don't even know what happened. I think we're the best in the world. champions, baby. What a game, huh? God, I love that stuff. The 2007 Giants were far from perfect. They had to claw and scratch for everything they earned. But when it mattered most, no team was better. Best of all, their storybook season had the perfect ending. Tom Coughlin and the Big Blue, the New York Giants, are the Super Bowl 42 champions. The New York Giants the 2007 champions of the world in professional football. You had to experience this parade today. Feeling the strength from this great city and our great fans of New York and New Jersey, we found a way to win. And the wonderful thing is to bring the Lombardi Trophy back where it belongs to the greatest city in the world, New York City. I can think of no better gift to give the greatest city in the world and the most loyal fans in the world than the most coveted trophy in all of sports, the Vince Lombardi Super Bowl trophy. We are a team of destiny. I am thrilled for every player, every coach, every member of the Giants organization. You will keep these memories for the rest of your life. It's been an unbelievable journey. I would not trade any moment this moment right here, standing up here in this city, going to this parade, it's been a true honor. Trust me, when we're playing, we're not playing for ourselves, we're playing for you as well. So from the New York Giants players and family, thank you, New York City, we are 